So today, as I'm recording this video, is 27th of December 2022. For you, it's probably a different date because you're watching this video, but I would still like to ask you, how was your year 2022? If you've set certain goals at the beginning of the year, did you achieve them? Let me know in the comments below. Now, my year was pretty interesting. It was the year I got to travel the most in my career. It was also the year I worked on multiple very, very fulfilling projects. And overall, it was the first year that I felt like I'm heading into the right direction with filmmaking. Apart from that, I would say I got to learn quite a lot of things about life, about myself and also about the world. And today I would like to share some of these lessons with you because I believe that as we go through life and we learn things and we gain more knowledge, we should also share this knowledge with others so we can help them on their journey. And so without further ado, let's jump straight into the lessons. So lesson number one is to follow your heart. And I know this might sound a little cliche, but I feel like this year I really got to tune into some deeper layers of myself. And I realized that deep inside, each of us know what is right for us and which direction to take. The problem is that because of all the information that is out there and because of social media, we get confused and our ability to decide what is right for us gets diluted. And because of that, what often happens is that we start believing that we want something that others have and that we should follow the same path as they do. I know that because I often used to be in that place, but inherently following the path of someone else would always make me feel miserable. And so this year I've decided to really tune into myself and to follow my heart. And I can gladly say that when I did that, things have just started coming together for me. So I suggest you to do the same and to follow your heart because it knows what is right for you. Lesson number two, everything in life takes time and there's right time for everything. I feel like my generation and also the generations that are younger has got used to having everything right now. You know, if you want to order food, you go on an app and you order it. If you want to order the new electronics, you go to Amazon or other website, you order it. And within a few days, you have that. And with this, we kind of lost our patience. Apart from being able to order things and have them within a few hours or days, social media also play a big role in this because of the dopamine that they release when we are using them. So we got used to instant gratification. But I definitely realized that Whatever is worth in life takes time. And at the same time, whatever goals you set, there's a right time for their manifesting. Sometimes it takes exactly long as we thought, and sometimes it might take months or years, and most likely much longer than we expected. But if we set goals and we follow through to those goals, if we do the steps that will get us there every day, every week, then I can promise you that eventually the goals and the dreams that you have will become reality. It might be hard work, but it will become reality. So just be patient and keep working towards your goals. And straight into this ties the lesson number three. And it's about how important it is to set your goals, but even more important is to enjoy the journey that leads toward that goal. And so what I started doing this year is that I would set my goals, but then I would Think and I would reverse engineer the path that will get me to that goal. And if I would lay that path in front of me and I would think about, is this a path that I will actually enjoy being on, then it's a good goal. If it's a path that you already know you will not enjoy, then I suggest you to either reconsider your goal, because maybe it's not something you really want, or to try to find a different way to get to that goal. This is a part of manifesting technique. And if you're not using that yet, then I would definitely recommend you to start in 2023 because it is a very powerful and very useful technique to know. Lesson number four I learned is all about surrounding yourself with the right people. And I know this can be difficult sometimes because maybe you have friends from high school or from university that you often go out with. But if you feel like these friends are not supporting you, you know, they're not making you grow, they don't have the same vision as you, then I would suggest you to start spending less time 
with these friends and look for communities and friends that have same goals and same hobbies as you. Because if you surround yourself with uh, driven people, with the people that want to create, then what happens is that this creativity and this drive will multiply in the group and together you can go faster, you can achieve more and the path will be much more enjoyable because you share it with someone. And I actually made a whole video about this topic where I talk about how to build and how to find your community. So I'll leave the link to a video somewhere around here. Now the last lesson is about something that I struggled to grasp for a while. And it's about being open to change your path. We often get identified with what we do, who we are, and it can become difficult to break these chains and to try something new, whether that's in personal life or in your career. And again, I can give you an example from my life. At the beginning of 2022, we moved out of Switzerland together with my girlfriend Laura. And the previous three years in Switzerland, I was mostly working as a DP and as a solo filmmaker. In my mind, the only way to grow for me was to follow this path of becoming a commercial cinematographer. And I tried to work on a few projects and I realized that I don't really enjoy working on sets. I enjoy being outside in nature, I enjoy traveling, I enjoy finding my own stories and telling those stories. But I was afraid to move away from that path because I already felt like I've been working for it for a while. But then I decided to not listen to my fear and I decided to change my path and to go more into adventure filmmaking, into directing, into finding my own stories. To be honest, it was the best decision I, I made. It was made because I listened to my heart and I followed what I felt was right for me. And when I did that, things just started coming together. You know, I got to travel to Kenya, to Congo. I got to work for NGOs this year. And nothing of this would happen if I would stick to this cinematographer path that I kind of had in front of me before. And so don't be afraid to change, whether that's your career or your personal life. If you feel like the things that you're doing are not fulfilling you, and if you feel that there's something else waiting for you, then once again, try to connect with you, try to meditate, try to go within. And instead of being afraid of change, rather welcome it. Because life is a flow. Life is a never-ending change. And so we as humans have to be open to change, to learn, and to make the steps that will lead towards more fulfilling and more meaningful life for ourselves and through that for others as well. And so if you listened to all these lessons together, you probably realize that they are very focused on achieving your goals. And this is what I want for you. I want you to figure out what it is that you really want in life and then go for it. Reverse engineer the path in front of you. Make the steps every day to get there and know that it's gonna take time. But if you put the time in, the things will manifest. And what you once thought was a dream will become a reality. And so that is my message for you with this video. I hope that you're gonna have an amazing start to 2023 and I'll see you next Tuesday with the new video. Peace.